my tongue wants to just either drop to the bottom of my mouth or it wants to race and, and fly. But we cannot help but think when our spiritual master comes, where is he coming from to be called anyway? This is the point. From where has he come? Uh, Srila Kabaraj Goswami has explained this in the first chapter of Chaitanya Charitamrita. And if we think of this very deeply, we will be amazed. It is a wonder of wonders, just where the Guru is actually coming from and originating from. It can be seen in different ways, but for us, Kabaraj Goswami is stimulating a deeper kind of thought that that Lord who is so compassionate upon the living beings, wanting to deliver them from within, as manifesting from within, as Super Soul from within, he is then manifesting as Sri Guru from without. Because we cannot visually experience the Super Soul within our heart, we cannot make connection there and hear his subtle advices and directions because of our material contamination. This material contamination is our great misfortune. But the Lord hasn't forgotten us. He manifests outside in the form of Sri Guru so that we can hear and we can see and we can take the same kind of advice that the Lord within. So the spiritual master from without and the Lord from within uh, directing us, we should be very submissive to both. And then our great fortune uh, will manifest in our life. So all the devotees, according to their realizations, will perceive the spiritual master in different ways. And this perception should be refined and refined and refined. And the closer we come in understanding what is actually Guru Tattva, then the more we can actually please the spiritual master. Because we're entering we're leaving the gross concept of life and entering into the more refined and subtle realms. And the spiritual master dwells in the most subtle and sensitive realms of the transcendental plane. And he's inviting us to leave the gross external plane to enter into that subtle realm. So, just by seeing the spiritual master, the beginning of Bhagavatam the mood and atmosphere is set so beautifully and perfectly uh, by especially the way Sri Parikit Maharaj received Sukadeva Goswami. The heartfelt way that Sri Parikit Maharaj uh, received Sukadeva Goswami, if we can understand that and try and, and enter into the mood of Parikit Maharaj, how he tenderly bought Sukadeva, and he said, you know, Tesham Sam Smaranat Pum Sam. He said, just by thinking of you, our houses become instantly sanctified. The spiritual master doesn't even have to be physically present, but just by thinking about the spiritual master, our homes become instantly sanctified. Uh, what to speak of seeing you, what to speak of seeing the Acharya of the, of the topmost level. What to speak of seeing you, touching you, uh, or washing your holy feet, or offering you a seat in our home. So affectionately he greeted Sukadeva Goswami. He gave his heart entirely, and he surrendered with affection, and his ears were totally open. He wanted to draw in the sweetness, because he perceived how divine Sri Sukadeva was. So, how to develop this mood, how to surrender an open heart and mind and ears to receive the message of, of Godhead. So, I don't know why I drifted off onto that, but we're so glad and welcome to receive Srila Gurudev here again, that actually we we're making so many preparations, but all of a sudden he's here, and one say, where has he come from? So let me offer my Dandavat Pranams to Srila Gurudev and unto all his sincere devotees.
Parmagyanam Timirandasya Gyanam Janasalakaya Taksuram Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Guravinama I offer my unlimited obeisances simultaneously to my Diksha Guru and Shiksha Guru, to all of our Guru Varga and all these Samal devotees. Last year, at this time, when Srila Gurudev was here, he began a series of classes about Guru Tattva, beginning with the verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 11th Canto, Vayam Dvatiya Vinivesitasya Ishara Petasya Viparjayo Smriti Tanmayaya To Buddhira Vijetam Bhaktyayka Chesam Guru Deva Tatma That is, since the beginning of time, we've all been in a dual conception of life, thinking I'm something other than myself, thinking I'm this body and everything in relation to this body is mine, and forgetting that I'm part and parcel of Krishna. How to get out of this substanceless shadow and into the reality, this verse states that we should engage in unalloyed service to the Lord, accepting His manifestation, Sri Gurudev, as our very life and soul. So Srila Gurudev gave and our very Atma, more intimate with us than our Atma. So after a couple of those classes, I happened to be in Srila Gurudev's quarters at Vajra Kishore's and Paramananda Prabhu's house, and Gurudev was passing by, so I took the opportunity to ask him, Srila Gurudev, you say that you are more intimate with us than our own Atma, but whenever I see you, I don't feel like that, I just feel far away because I feel so bad that I'm not serving you nicely. So he said, yes, that's why I gave that class. Just so you'll know, there's no separation between us at any moment just like water and its wetness, or fire and its heat. There's never any separation, but there's always a feeling of separation, just like the gopis are never separated from Krishna, and at the same time they're always feeling separation. So he's constantly with us, and always working on us, although it may not appear to be, because he's fully the fully conscious manifestation of Krishna. I just want to tell one nice story that happened. And Shri Gurudev's very first trip here to show that example. Uh, Jugal Kishore Prabhu, uh, who met Shri Gurudev in 1997 on his first time here, told me a very interesting thing that happened to him. His wife, Ujeshri Didi, was coming to Shri Gurudev faster than him. And so Shri Gurudev was giving her more attention than he was giving him, or the, although it seemed like that. So, but day by day, Jugal Kishore Prabhu kept getting more and more interested, but Srila Gurudev kept giving more attention to his wife. Finally, towards the end of the day, he became so f interested and simultaneously so frustrated that Srila Gurudev wasn't paying attention to him. So, in one of the last moments, Srila Gurudev just turned to him and said, I'm working on you. <laughs> so all this time he had been giving his full attention to Jugal Kishore Prabhu and all of us. Gaur Premanandi Hari Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikaya Tadale Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadavaktaya Namuna First of all, my humble obeisances in the Lord's feet of my Srila Guru Pat Padma Vishnu Pad Sishman Bhakti Pragyan Kishore Swami And same in the Lord's feet of my Shiksha Guru Om Vishnu Pad Sishman Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. Perhaps you know. My Shiksha Guru, Om Vishnu Pāsīśvār Bhakti Vedānta Swami Maharaj, inspired, inspired me on his last day and told me to help his devotees. He had collected so many, but I could not train them, so you should train them. 
Also you know that any devotee, any sadhak cannot such a guru because he is not qualified. So guru like Nityananda Prabhu goes door to door. And that's that you should chant Hari name and you will be happy. So also Swamiji inspired me to go to door to door because you all can't come to India. So as he did, and he also inspired to follow me that you should go door to door, Australia, England, America, European countries, Brazil and so many Africa here, there. So I think my this is my duty to follow my spiritual guru and siksha guru. Especially I want to remind you that what is the aim and object of your life? Especially what you are going to do, what will be the aim and object if you don't know what you can do? So first of all, yes sir, remember that we are luckily, fortunately, in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Laruf Goswami, especially. In the line of Sri Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Bhakti Vinod Thakur and then my Gurudev Shiksha Guru and Diksha Guru. What should be the aim and object of, object of our that not only of our life, but what we are going to do, what should be your aim and object? You know, why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to this world? Not to preach only name, because it was duty of, of Yuga Avatar. He especially come, came to preach the aim and object of the life, supreme, not only the lotus feet of Krishna, but to serve the lotus feet of Radhika. In the line of Rup, Rati, Manjari, Rup, and Rupa Manjari, Rup and Ravuna. What is that? We should know in this life that what is that? The service of Radhika, more inclination towards Radhika than Krishna even. Especially we should know aim and object of our life and our devotion. What is that? Krishna praying, not Krishna, not Radhika. The heart of Radhika, full of Mahabhava, Madanakya bhava up to. And she serves and control Krishna. So this prem is object. This is supreme object, hour of our life. Then knowing this, how to practice? And now come down from Shraddha, the last point of Bhakti. And begin from Shraddha, Nishtha, Anartha Nibhritti, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav, must only up to that. Try to achieve this Shuddha Sattva. This is also the heart of Radhika. Radhini Shakti. So, how to have a Transcendental sattha, not laukiki, mortal sattha. Try to have. And if that comes, sattha, then automatically strong faith comes in the words of Guru. And then to Krishna. 
and then fx. Some faith will come. And then begin from there. <coughs> Try to give up your anarch apparat. Otherwise you cannot gain. So I have come to remind you all these things that you should remember. And be inspired. Don't be weak. Try to follow the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how he was strict. How he was strict. Hey. Devadasi was singing that Devgita Govindam. And Mahaprabhu ran after. And anyhow, Govinda Prabhu accept him. And he told that, if I have touched then what I have done, I have given my life in jumping your own ocean. He told, be very careful, especially sannyasis, renounce all of sannyasis. Follow me. If anything coming easily, and we should think that, oh, oh coming, no harm. Then a lady will come and tell that oh, you should marry me. Then what should he do? Mahaprabhu will allow? Can Mahaprabhu give only one day or night service? So if you want Krishna pray, Radha Prem especially, then you will have to follow all these principles of Rupa Goswami and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu of very strongly. Be very soft, more than lotus and flowers, and very strong than thunderbolt, both at a time. I have seen all these things in my Guru, how he was of very strong, more than thunderbolt, and how he was soft, or oh, weeping for devotees, his disciples, weeping, weeping, weeping. Day and night, if any disease or anything, then he used to walk up all whole night and whole day. How soft. The issue are not like so, how you can attend this perfect more than Bhaikund, Dvarka, Mathura, even in Braja, more than Vasalya, Sakya, more than that. Even Padadyo Stavbina Bharatasya Vila. Nannat Kadaapi Samay Kiladi Vijaj. Sakhayati Mamo Namastu Namastu Nitya. Dasyayati Mamo Rusosu Rusosu. How do you not know Swasa Goswami had been such? And how we were just strong, we should try to follow them. For this, I have come to remind you all and not to be weak in any way, whether ladies or gentlemen. For what? They look that Bhakti Sar Maharaj told, Tannam Roop Chaitaki. It is not for lady or only for men. It is for all those who want that supreme option. I request you to make uh, casuals from morning to evening night. Mostly I should come in evening class. I have had to some right and doctor has also advised to take some rest. I am very happy that up till now in my tour I was alone, only Madhav Maharaj and Bhajanath Prabhu and Sundar Gopal were with me. Now I am very happy that oh, Sajjan Maharaj, Sar Maharaj, or oh, that Aranya Maharaj especially, Shyamarani. And so many are here. Prajapallah Prabhu, 
Devendra Prabhu, all are here. I know that they will save me. In all cases, I request them to save me. Anyone cannot save, you know. So, you should make casuals from morning to evening, my classes. And, oh, I want to see some drama plays. Huh? Very high class of, very high class of drama, or oh, pressure, especially relating to gopis and Krishna. And also, if you like, you can play a oh, very good drama player, Prahlad Maharaj. I like so, but also pressure. Those who are, by those we can, we can have some instruction and some inspiration. So I want to take some rest because I have come from plain and doctor has that also advice. So go on doing our casualty classes and everything. So that Aranya Maharaj, Aranya Maharaj, Akshishar Maharaj, Sachan Maharaj, they are engaged in giving process. Thank you, my heart, your blessings to you. Go Pramananda. Thank you.